let's use a similar approach to create a hi-hat. Uh, no, a snare first. So I grab the operator. Oops, now I made a mistake. Thanks for undo. Here we go. Let's see if we did it. Yeah. I grab another instance of operator. And now here we have the preset again. And we build a snare. Similar approach. We have a fixed frequency in trigger mode and a decaying envelope. And we tune this a little bit higher, let's say 140 hertz. So this is the fundamental of our snare. And we change the algorithm to this one here. And this one means, um, no, actually we choose this one again for reasons I show you later. So, oops, so we have this here. This is not really a snare because what's missing is the noise. And I use the noise waveform in operator to modulate the first oscillator. And we need the envelope here also. And this one needs to decay. So we have already a very rough snare here. Um, the interesting thing with the noise waveforms in operator is there's two of them. There's noise looped and noise wide. Noise wide is the classical um, constant random number flow which creates, well, noise. And noise looped is actually a small segment of randomness repeated ever and ever again, over and over again. And therefore it's not real noise, but uh, it has some properties you can't have with real noise. For instance, you can tune it. So let's see what this does if I tune it. Oops. So that's our <coughs> old analog snare. Um, I like to make it a little bit more convincing. So I again add a pitch envelope here for the same reason as for the bass drum. and play with the tuning a little bit. And with the decay. And we're getting closer. And now I do the following. I again copy the first operator oscillator to the third one, because again, I want to have more than one um, piece of the membrane. Oops. So we're getting there. Um, next thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to EQ the snare a little bit. And there's <clears throat> several ways how to can think about EQ. In this context, I like to think um, of the EQ as actually a resonance within the drum. Because if you have a drum, well, it's a small unit which creates a um, resonance because it's a small, well, resonating space. And so the resonances within the drum contribute to the sound. And in this case, I like to use two bands of the EQ8 to enhance a few of the harmonics which I find interesting. So first I get more um, high frequencies. Here we go. And second is I try to get some of the mid frequencies a little bit more um, in the front. And we're getting there. So this for the snare. Um, there's a different approach to the snare, which is more the, the classical 808 approach. This one uses noise for modulating the other oscillator, which is uh, yeah a FM synthesis approach. But <clears throat> in the classical Roland world, there is no FM synthesis. So instead of, I just use, so this is my membrane without noise. This is with noise, modulating oscillator A. And now I have another noise waveform here, where I choose the classical white noise. 
and again an envelope and um, and you notice this sounds much brighter and it's much closer to the sounds you're familiar with from the analog drum computers. A last parameter which I really like uh, in operator is the time parameter. Time scales all envelopes at the same time. So we can use this to make everything um, decaying longer or shorter. Let's try this. So this should be my snare for today.